G'day guys, welcome back. Number three, first one was blues, next one was purples, this one's greens with a silver swipe. Still got a little bit of my silver left from the last pour. I put a couple of drops of water in it, oh, well maybe three drops of water in it, it's probably like a quarter of a cup left of paint, just to see if, uh, if I just drag once, maybe that amount of paint is enough. Um, I had a bit of trouble with the last one. If you saw that one, I had to swipe twice because I had too much silver or maybe it was too thick. So anyway, I've just um, thinned it out a touch. Now my black, I've got left over from the previous pour, so it's still got oil in it. I have got navy again. And because this one's green, I've got this really dark ocean green and then to contrast I've got like a bluey green so hopefully that those will look nice together so I need to put oil in this one so this one can just have two and then the big cup can have three and you can have three as well so what I did with the last one or did I do four I can't remember now. Maybe I did four. Four in the big cups. I seriously can't remember. It was like 10 minutes ago. Oh, can't even remember 10 minutes ago. I have to look back on the video and see what I did. That's why I started making these videos so I could look back and see what worked and what didn't work. Okay, so pouring medium, same as before, 70% glue, 30% water, and as same as the other two swipes, one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint. So I've got 75 grams of pouring medium to 50 grams of paint for the fuller cups. The little guy has got... 30 grams of pouring medium and 20 grams of paint because I just want a little bit. I don't want this to overtake. I just want a little sort of a splash of light colour. All right, let's start layering. Uh, I think I'll do the green first because I think it's going to be quite overtaking and I don't want to have it on top. I'd rather have my navy on top. I pull this out so I've got enough here for my last little ribbon. So this is a 30 by 40 centimeter card. I have links where I buy the card from on the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group. It's in the files section. I've put up a link to eBay and also a link to Amazon. I'm still getting people asking me. Where I get it from? People are private messaging me saying, where do you get it from? I don't answer private messages, sorry guys. Keep that for my, my family, my private messages. Rightio, let's do the navy. Oh, look at that, again, too much up there. I'm gonna have to tilt everything down. haven't left enough paint down here so yeah if you're interested in getting these cards I think maybe they're called box board if you're in the States look for box board um, mat board I when I was looking I just googled a3 card and that's what came up so it's a 12 by 16 inch get the thickest you can I think these ones are about 900 grams in thickness, so about two mil thick. When I started, I started off with the really thin ones, but I think the thicker ones are much better. A little bit of the light blue. This is called Coastal Turquoise, this light bluey green colour. I was going to put just a regular turquoise in, but then I thought, oh, it's going to be too green. And I know that green is one of those colours that really can take over. And this little series of three paintings, I sort of want them all to match. So 
they've all got the navy in them and the black and the silver and then they've just got a dark and a light of a contrasting color and a little bit of black just I'm going to make thin ribbons of this like so right so my colors are this is the pale one this is coastal turquoise and then the dark greeny one is called you probably can't even see that anymore it's called deep deep sea as opposed to deep space and then black and the silver is the artist loft silver but you can use any silver you want i'll move that out of the way no oil in my swipe color Is, I just need to mark on here where this was. Okay, no oil in my swipe colour uh, because I don't like to see. Well, it's mainly if I have a like a block of silver across the top. I don't like to see the the oil in it, but because. I don't have a big block of silver it's not really going to make a difference I did a video where I only put the oil in the swipe color and not in the other colors and it worked a treat so you guys do whatever takes you fancy no right or wrong apparently it works either way so don't be too obsessed with only put it in putting it in your colors you can put it in your swipe colour if you wish. Okay. Won't tilt too much off. You can see it's moving relatively slowly. Just centre it again. Can't have the weight of your paint sort of in the middle rather than on the edge. So if you've tilted it and all your weight of the paint's down there, just bring it back again. Okay, now a silver, and I'm going to put that just down the middle, not too thick, not too much of a band, and I have thinned it out a bit, as I said. And I've got a bit too much paint still on here. It's running quite fast, isn't it? Look at that. That's better. Now I'll bring my line back into the middle. Now I just want to touch halfway between in the middle there so I can swipe half the silver that way and half that way. I need to get another bit of plastic. My other one's still in the sink from the last one so there it is, my little sheet of plastic. Put one foot in front of the other. If you put both feet next to each other when you swipe and you come back in towards you, you're going to fall over. And that's not good. Just touch the silver, get some contact all the way along, off you go. There's another little blob in there. Oh, I forgot my paper towel, that's all right. This is my, oh, fifth, this is my fifth pour for today, because I did two that didn't work. So you're not seeing those videos. And then I did the blue one, the purple one, and now the green one. So this is my fifth for the day. And that'll be enough. I've got a beautiful Indian butter chicken cooking on the slow cooker. So I cut up all the chicken pieces and I marinated them last night and then today at lunchtime I just had to chop up my onions and make my sauce and my paste with cashews and everything do a really traditional butter chicken um, and then popped all that in the slow cooker and it is doing its thing so, and I get to paint and then tonight for dinner it's all gonna be done now Still got a lot of silver there. I might have to try and pull some more of it off. Don't want to take... See, there's a bit of a bump there where this is the thin silver and this is the thick silver. So if I went on the thin side, 
I'd be into the paint underneath. So I still need to stay in the thick side of the silver. Otherwise it's going to kind of bald it, if that makes sense. And then you get that line. As it is, I've got a big bump of silver in the middle, but that's okay. It's better than having a line. I think it's better than having a line. I don't know what happened here. I don't think I can change that. I'll just leave it. Um, yep, I'll just leave it. It's a pity I've got that. See, there's a lot of silver sitting across there. I can see how thick it is. That's all right. I don't think there's... There's nothing really I can do with it. I'm just going to have to leave it there. Next time, less silver in the middle. I'll do less. See, I'm still learning. Every pour I do, I'm still learning. Okay, let's torch. Now, as I said earlier, I poured a few drops of water in my silver to thin it out. So it may allow my cells to actually pop up and grow bigger which is not really a good thing I prefer the cells to stay smaller but if it's really thick like it is here then I'm not really going to get much through there oh, I had to get a bit closer see I got closer there Where the paint's thicker, you might have to go a little bit closer. Don't want too many cells because they will keep growing. Just that pale blue really took over, didn't it? You can hardly see the dark green. Just as well, I only had a tiny little bit of it. Well, you can see it in here, the dark green. So the dark green and the dark blue and the black, they kind of all blend. So you just get this one, one dark colour, really. Don't like that black line there that I've got. I'm going to have to put a, a balloon dip over that. There's some really pretty cells happening. Love this. So there's one section I love more and there's less silver over there. See how that's got less silver over it and this has got more silver here. But look, it doesn't have to be the same. It doesn't have to be matchy-matchy. I think it's nice to have a little bit of difference and a bit of interest in your paintings. Okay, I've got my little glove. It's quite soft. I blew it up a couple of weeks ago so it's, it's going flat. Uh, now I'm going to sort of zigzag up and down. I'm going to start over here with this big black blobby thing that I don't like. I'll put a few more in this one. I can sort of come across into there and then back up here. Maybe I could do some smaller ones rather than huge ones. Maybe get away with a few smaller ones. I won't press too hard. I'll just press a little bit and around in a circle and up. And that way I can maybe get away with doing some smaller ones. Although that one needs to be a bit bigger. See, I need to incorporate that because I just don't like that line there. So I just need to do this one a little bit bigger, which means I just have to push harder. Still didn't get it. Okay, that's got it. Into that little line there. Okay, fold that over. I'll use the back of it and then I'll replace it. Waste not, want not. Okay. Now where? Um, let's go up into this corner, this little section here. That looks like the inside of a, a kiwi fruit. Do I want that or do not not want that? I don't think I'd better get too close to that. I kind of want to just stay in this middle bit here and, and leave the cells alone. So here we go, round and back up. Oh, those are such pretty colours. Now you're gorgeous, you can stay. Yes, you can. Let's see if I can get rid of this. If I put my, my balloon into that, it should make petals. If I can just catch the edge of it, like so. 
I was so worried about looking at this end. I didn't look at that end, so I'm gonna have to go again because that end. Oh, mind you, that's got a lot of paint over on that side, hasn't it? Just didn't roll very well that way. Now, because there's no cells being incorporated into that, I'm not going to get any petals. Um, let's go over here. Now I need to change my little bit of paper towel, pop that one away, let me grab a new piece. Just makes for a tidy workspace and you can clean off your glove. So a lot of paint in the centre there so I'm going to have to re-dip. I think that one's okay. If I go any closer to the edge, it's going to bald it. So I'm going to go this one and around and up. Go up slowly so that it releases slowly. Round and slowly up. Now that's not attractive. I'm going to have to go over that again and try and incorporate those a bit more. I cut that. That's better. So that's made petals there. That one's so pretty, isn't it? On this one, this one needs redoing and incorporating that big cell there. See how squishy these the glove is? Works really well. Better than a firm balloon in my opinion. And just a little one there. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got two on the lower side, two up there, and then one there. So I think that's balanced nicely. So this one's got a little bit too much paint left, so I'm just gonna have to take some away by re-dipping like so. Mm. You can see where the second ring is, so I'm going to have to push down harder to make the balloon come out further to incorporate those cells, like so. Okay, now that is it. I am done. I'm backing away. <gasps> I love it. So do you like the blue one, the purple one, or the ocean green one? What do you think? Uh, this is the blue one. And this is the purple one. And then the green one. I think this is my favourite. I think the blue one's my least favourite, the purple one's my second favourite, and then this one's my favourite. In order of doing them is the favourite. Look at the cell colour. So pretty. It really is. The cells, in my opinion, the cells, you know, are never as pretty, as attractive. Um, as they are when I do my flip cups. Um, a, it's a different technique and B, this is a thinner mix. So when I do my flip cups I do one to one so my cells are really quite structured, they don't move very much and um, yeah they just, they just stay in their shape better. This is a one and a half to one mix, so obviously the cells aren't going to hold their shape as well. So the thinner your mix, the more your cells are going to stretch out and be wobbly and a bit uneven. So something to take into consideration. I really like these colours. And that little bit of light blue that I added 
it's kind of taken over, but I think it's important that it's in there with all those dark colours. It's just added that little bit of a pop. I do like my blues, don't I? I just think this one's the best out of all of them. And in the middle, you can really see the green in those flowers. The green's really quite prominent. Whereas in the cells, they've kind of more just blended in with the other colours. Look at those pretty cells. And there's still quite a good amount of silver on the covering there. So once it dries, that silver is just going to be the bomb, isn't it? It's just going to look gorgeous when it's dried. And it's all silvery and shimmery and shiny in the middle there. And then this will it'll dry darker, so you'll have all those beautiful dark cells swimming in that ocean of silveriness. Come around this way. Let it go lighter. Silly phone. So there's some pretty cells down there. Focusing, yes, there we go. And then down here, not so much of the colonies in this one. I probably didn't torch as closely in this one, so I haven't got the colonies like I did in the purple. And also, my swipe color was a little bit thinner, like three drops, it really wasn't very different. But there was only a little bit left anyway. I got three paintings out of that one cup of silver. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed this little series of three blue, purple, and green with the silver swipes. Um, I think I'll leave it at that. If I do red, it's going to kind of go and do um, pink. Although, although I could do plum and burgundy, couldn't I? Hmm. Maybe that's an option. May just go a little bit pink, but never mind. I might give that a go, but I think I've had enough today. Five paws is enough. All right, thanks for watching. I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.